Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to my review for This Is The End, which is a brand new apocalyptic comedy film starring Seth Rogen, Jay Baruchel, uh, James Franco, Craig Robinson, Danny McBride, Jonah Hill, a bunch of other people, and I was super excited to see this because all the trailers leading up to this I thought were hilarious. I thought it was a great concept. It was very funny. The only thing I was hoping was that they didn't waste all the good jokes in the trailer. And when I heard all the amazing reviews at first, now they're now they're getting a little lower, but still, it's still getting great reviews. I was still I was very pumped to see this film. So, what did I think of This Is the End? Well, let's talk about the story. All right. So the story for This Is the End attempts to answer the age-old question of what would celebrities do during the apocalypse. And the story here follows Seth Rogen and J uh, Jay Baruchel as themselves who are best buds well they used to be best buds but they haven't really hung out in a very long time so they decided to you know hang out try to rekindle that friendship smoke some pot drink beers play video games watch TV whatever but of course Jay Baruchel does not like Seth Rogen's brand new friends that he hangs out with which includes James Franco, Jonah Hill, Danny McBride, Craig Robinson and a bunch of others but Seth Rogen wants him to like his brand new friends because he just he doesn't want to have to hang out with one set of friends and then hang out with another person he wants to just hang out with them all together so he brings Jay Baruchel to James Franco's party that he's having at his house and he wants him just to you know be friends with everybody but of course it doesn't really work that way Jay Baruchel's like oh, I don't like this party but Seth Rogen and everybody else they're having a good time until the end of the world happens man vents hit people people get sucked up dogs and cats living together mass hysteria and it just goes crazy and people are getting killed of course James Franco Danny McBride uh, Seth Rogen Jay Baruchel Jonah Hill and Craig Robinson are the only people left that they know so they run back into James Franco's house and they have to stay in there and try to survive <laughs> that's pretty much it that's where the comedy comes from too uh, during the movie they of course see other celebrities that make brief cameos but for the most part it's just them hanging around you know insulting each other and and you know sometimes something bad happens so that's really the story of this is the end I'm gonna tell you straight up I love the story of this is the end it is very simple it's a bunch of guys in a house waiting for the apocalypse to end but I loved it because all the characters there are no characters the actors are playing themselves short caricatures of themselves but they're always making fun of each other about past movies or oh Seth Rogen has a dumb laugh they're making fun of each other there's one part where everybody goes in James Franco's basement and you just see a bunch of posters of stuff around from his past movies. It's just great. It's I love that. And what I also love is that they're all assholes, but there's a variety of assholes. They're not just all the same asshole. They all have different per like perks of being an asshole. Good movie. Uh, no, that's a sequel to Perks of Being a Wallflower. No, they all have different different way of being a douchebag and I love that I thought that was hilarious them making fun of each other it's a very simple story but it just works here perfectly and everybody everybody just has a lot of fun with, with their roles no one's terrible I love that everybody has a good chance to just shine and I love it so yeah the story here is great and so is the acting like I said, the movie is funny, but oh no, it's not just funny. It is hilarious all the way through, all the way through. Before the apocalypse, where they're just hanging out, cracking jokes, referencing things, that's hilarious. When the apocalypse happens, it turns into a different movie. They have to survive, but they're reacting to things in just hilarious ways. They're just, you know, going after each other in just funny ways. It's hilarious, and I love both parts of the movie, before and after the apocalypse happens. I, I just love that. And it's just so funny watching these characters react even when the movie's not being funny it's being entertaining there is actually a couple of somewhat action scenes there's some chase sequences there's some actual good special effects being used in the film and I found that to be very surprising seeing that the budget is really small it's like a 20 25 million dollar budget and that's great I thought it was very very well done with the special effects because it, it does get special effects heavy later on in the film and I found that to be very surprising I also loved all the cameos in the film some of them you already know about like Michael Sarah who is freaking hilarious for the short time he's on um, you have a bunch of other ones like uh, um, Kevin Hart you got Aziz Ansari uh, some other cameos I don't want to spoil all of them are funny a lot of them are very surprising and when they're there you will not forget them because they are freaking great especially the cameo at the end that one really got me um, now if there's any problems with this film 
I don't really have any, to be honest. I thought it was, even when it wasn't funny, it had some decent jump scares. It had some good action. It was still very entertaining. I was laughing all the way through. But when I wasn't, it was because they were trying to actually do something a little different. So I don't really have any complaints. Alright, I have one. The ending, I didn't love. I didn't really love the ending. I, I liked it. I, I thought it could have been better, though. That's it. That's the only complaint. So I have to give this movie a 39 out of a 40. It's one of my favorite films of this year. One of the best comedies I've probably ever seen in my life. So yeah, This Is The End is easily worth your money. Definitely check it out this weekend. Thank you, and goodbye.